bring that bacterial population down by increasing the fungi. These two guys compete with each other. The, you know, the normal community is going to, the bacteria are going to come down as your fungi come up. And so now you've got a situation where you might be growing brassica. Um, coal and kale crops require that kind of balance of bacteria and fungi in the soil. Well, if that's not what you want to be growing, you want to get that fungal to bacterial ratio closer together. Now you're growing tomatoes, potatoes, you know, large, all of the solanaceae that we um, like so much. As we want to grow highly productive grasses, you want to get both the bacteria and fungi at the same biomass within the soil. The higher you can get that biomass, and notice my hands are now going up together, if we can get that balance, we'll get higher yields, the higher that fungal to bacterial ratio becomes. Is that so, if you've got a one-to-one, one-to-one ratio of bacteria mm -hmm. and fungi in your soil, you can you will never worry about pest, real bad pest attacks or disease killing your plants again ever because your soil is perfect. And we all know to have healthy plants, you have to have healthy soil. So my dad and I decided we were gonna grow fungi. Now, what I'm gonna do is as the fungi grow on these logs, I harvest, I sell the, the mushrooms but as this like breaks down, I will throw this into my compost and this into my worm bins, adding back a higher level of fungi. Now this one is, oh, shiitake. Took me a second. I looked at the S on like a shiitake. So this one's shiitake. This one is lion's mane. And this is an oyster. So it's a different types of mushrooms. And basically what we did was we drilled holes into the logs and we inoculated it with spores, mushroom spores. And then you cover it with beeswax. And each one of these holes will actually grow a bunch of mushrooms out of it. And it will continue to produce mushrooms for you for up to five years or until this log is totally disintegrated. Is that oak? Yes, it's fresh oak. It has to be fresh. Mm -hmm. um, the only care that goes into this is if it hasn't rained, you need to wet it once a week. But you leave it outside leaned up somewhere in the shade. Yeah, not the soil. 